AI is disrupting local SEO and what I'm about to show you will horrify some and make others see opportunity. And in the next five minutes, I will build a complete local SEO strategy from scratch using AI. All right, so I've got my stopwatch here and I'm gonna start this, it's gonna be exactly five minutes. I'm gonna be developing this SEO strategy specifically for an HVAC company uh, in Chesterfield, Missouri. So this is just a, a mock kind of demo example, but I just wanna show you how quickly literally anyone can do this. It doesn't matter whether you're an experienced SEO professional or you're a business owner trying to grow your own business and you're on a tiny little budget. Anyone can do this, okay? And I'll talk about after this, once the time is up, I'll explain some kind of nuance to this, but I just wanna show you the power of using AI and how quickly we can actually develop a strategy that we can go and act on, okay? So without further ado, here we go. I'm gonna be going really, really hard on this and I'm gonna go ahead and start this clock and I'm gonna be walking you through it. So first things first is we're going to say, I need to develop an SEO, develop an SEO strategy for a local HVAC, we'll say specifically for a new local HVAC company in Chesterfield, Missouri. All right, and the first step is I need you, I need you to identify the top five competitors and give me their average review counts and any other competitor analysis data. Okay, so we'll start with that. And this is really useful because this can give us a rough idea of kind of who we're up against and then we can kind of extract uh, what they're doing well and ultimately get those benchmarks, okay? And the next thing is I wanna find, I want you to find at least 25 directory sponsorship slash donation, uh, let's see, listicle, influencer, local news, and chamber opportunities for driving brand awareness and leads okay so we'll go ahead and run this we've got about we're about two minutes in here so we'll go ahead and run that and this should help us gather some link prospects and some marketing prospects because remember if you want to succeed locally you need external signals you need third-party signals they're way more important okay so then we're going to analyze one of the top competitors and tell me the exact service, uh, exact service and location pages to build for our site architecture. All right, so we're gonna run that one through. This is important for on our first party signals, our actual site itself. And then we're going to create at least 25 topically relevant content ideas to support our commercial pages. And we're gonna make sure their, make sure they align with our subject matter expertise and primary location. Link bait is also good in this context. Okay, so we're gonna run that too. And then final thing is here, once this is all done, we'll just say recap this entire local SEO strategy and highlight any potential gaps in our strategy as well, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and recap this whole thing. We're gonna see kind of a time limit. We're at about three minutes right now. Um, and then from here, obviously there's more we can do, but I think at this point we've got plenty of stuff to work with. So I'll go ahead and stop the clock. That puts us at three minutes and 20, 23 seconds, okay? So let's kind of walk through what this developed in the short amount of time. Now, keep in mind, I am very experienced at this. This is not like the average business owner isn't just gonna be able to you know, do this in the way that I can, because I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times building local SEO strategies and SEO strategies in general, but just to kind of walk you through how quickly we can start to build this out. And this used to be very difficult. You used to manually have to go into Google, do your link prospecting. You'd have to have multiple people involved doing this. 
Um, and if you're using this browser, I can literally have it go and export all this and put it into a Google Doc, and I can go and share that Google Doc with someone, okay? Or I can actually just share this link if I wanted with the team member, okay? So a lot of opportunity here to really streamline this process. The reason I collected review count is because reviews are really critical for not only you know ranking well in Google's local pack, but also they heavily influence the AI platforms like ChatGPT and Perplexity. So we want to drive as many reviews, not just on our Google business profile, but across all the other directories that we potentially could drive reviews on as well to get that review diversity. That's really important, okay? So we can go down here and we can see big, pretty big review counts for all our competitors. So we know we're going to have a lot, you know, our work cut out for us in that front. Okay. Next thing here is we know that third party signals greatly influence performance, not just for traditional SEO, but they also greatly influence our performance once again in chat GPT and LLMs. So looking at this, we see business directories, very simple. We go and we submit our businesses on these directories. Now, I'm not going to get into into this business and in, into this video about how to automate this process, but you can automate this. Um, I have I have some techniques you can use, but I want to save them for the next video. This is just purely for the strategy. Okay, so make sure you subscribe. You know, call to action. Uh, okay, so. Sponsorships and donations, this is another very important one. Very easy to score these links. You should be going and getting these links. Sometimes we, we can score these sometimes for 50 bucks. We get one lifetime link, very, very relevant from a trusted entity in your location. You, it doesn't get much better than that, okay? Listicles, we've got pure listicles that we can go and attack, both national and local. Once again, easy. Uh, and then influencers, we can actually reach out to influencers and pay them to talk about our brand. You would be surprised how untapped this is. It's very untapped. Um, and then the, the standard ones, local chamber, you know, local organ, local groups and things like that where you can go and uh, promote your, your business, okay? So lots of opportunity here. This is enough here to keep us busy for at least a quarter or two, okay? There's tons of work to do on this front. Now, on the website itself, we wanna to start to build the infrastructure. So this is important. We just look at the top competitors and see how have they built out their infrastructure, okay? So we got the, you know, it's already kind of mapped out the appropriate service pages. Overall, pretty good. Um, this is pretty similar to what we might do in a scenario like this. And right, we've we've already got it mapped out and they've even put kind of the site structure here as well. This is not the exact URL structure I would personally use, but at least gives you a rough, pretty good idea of what you could do, okay? Um, and then going down here, same thing, uh, create at least 25 topically relevant content ideas. This is really important because what you don't wanna do is just create a bunch of commercial pages and then not build support for each of those commercial pages. So what we typically do is like, we'll go up here, we'll create a commercial page for something like, like, you know, you know, furnace repair. So we'll go, you know, uh, obvious plug here uh, for rankability. But we're going to go here. And what I would do is I just go to the content optimizer. I would search for Chesterfield, Missouri. That way we're getting the most relevant uh, results. And then we would do, you know, something like furnace repair, Chesterfield, Missouri. Okay. And that would be the core keyword that we'd want to go after to build this page. And I would run the optimizer. And of course, I'd probably use AI content in this, in this instance. And we go down here, service page, and I would just load up this prompt window with everything that's relevant about our brand, our unique selling propositions, testimonials, phone number, calls to action, offers, everything in here. Because then what it will do, this is what rankability you know, really is unique in, is it's gonna extract all the topics from the top 30 competitors. And we, we weight it based on who's ever ranking the best. So if the top ranked competitors are talking about certain topics, we prioritize those versus, let's say number 30 was talking about something, doesn't matter as much. So we're gonna go ahead and use those topics. Then we're gonna take this stuff that we put in the prompt and we're gonna combine that together. And it's gonna create this beautiful beautiful outline that's highly relevant. And then from there, it's going to take that outline and it's going to use our AI technology to write a draft that's highly relevant just right out of the gate. And the cool part is once this is done, you can see, uh, we'll look at one that's actually AI driven here. I actually did this one recently. Uh, you can see this is the output. This is like first draft, already highly optimized, uh, already highly relevant. And no, I don't recommend just like taking this and slapping it on your site, but this gives you a nice base to work with. And then what we do is we have a human editor come in here 
there, clean it up, humanize it a little bit, make it a little more friendly, make it a little more engaging, more kind of a better direct response, add in testimonials, make it more readable. And obviously when it goes on the site, it needs to be designed because this is a commercial page. So we're doing a lot more than just producing the copy. But as far as creating the copy on commercial pages, this is one of the fastest ways to do it. And it's incredibly effective. We have people that, you know, use this all the time to drive results, including our own business. Okay. So it's really, really useful in that way. So that's what we do. We would build out all the commercial pages first with rankability. Then we would go and build out these link bait, uh, kind of content marketing assets that are going to support those bottom of the funnel keywords. This strategy works. It really, really does. Um, the only thing that's kind of missing here is stuff that's more data driven. So we'd be looking more for some data to, you know, really function as link bait. Um, but aside from that, overall, pretty good ideas for the most part. Okay. And then from here, just a nice recap of the strategy. So this is a strategy that you can, you know, you share with your team and you, you know, you can start to really take action on a lot of this. So I just wanted to show you this because at the end of the day, there's some kind of distinctions here that I think are very important. Anyone can do this. Literally anyone. You don't need any experience. You can just follow what I did. Literally just take, take my exact prompts that I use, caught, you know, replace HVAC for whatever type of business you are. And you immediately can start doing this. You can do it on perplexity, chat, GBT, Gemini. It doesn't make a difference. Um, but I do want to kind of emphasize a couple points here. Okay. This is very important. So number one, ideas are easy and execution is very hard. Okay. And this is a perfect example where, you know, literally anyone can go and get ideas. Ideas are a, a dime a dozen at this point. And it's really always been the case. Ideas have never really been that important because at the end of the day, an idea is just this little thing that floats in the air and doesn't mean anything until it's actually acted upon. And so, yes, a business owner could certainly go and build out their own SEO strategy, but the magic and the success of an SEO strategy is 99% based on the execution of that strategy. That's where all the magic is. And this is why, you know, you see stuff all the time, you know, there's clickbait everywhere. And by the way, I'm not innocent of clickbait. I clickbait things all the time, but I'm just saying the clickbait makes people believe that SEO is dead and uh, you shouldn't become an SEO expert and SEO agencies are no longer needed. Um, this just not true. <laughs> and there's a lot of reasons for this. Number one, uh, an HVAC company business owner is not going to go out here and do all the stuff that's required for SEO. Just like how I wouldn't go and try to fix my furnace. There's just certain things that you're not going to do. And that would be a massive waste of time to be tinkering out around with SEO and link building and all this geeky stuff that I spend every single waking moment doing. Okay. There's no way that an HVAC business owner who spends a minute a month on SEO, no offense, is going to come in and take an SEO professional's job who literally lives, eats, and breathes this stuff every single day. It's just not going to happen. Nor would I expect myself, who watched one YouTube video about repairing an AC, think I can just come in and start you know, fixing everyone's air conditioning. Okay, That would be absolutely ignorant, and I wouldn't do that. Right. So at the end of the day, this is the most important piece here, which is real expertise. The most important word here is real expertise isn't dead. Okay. They're the most important part of all of this. And this is just kind of to, to show you like how easy it is to create ideas to really produce consistent results over time. You need real expertise. You need someone that knows how to take all this and turn it into a strategy. You need someone that knows how to take the strategy and turn it into a process. You need someone that knows how to allocate resources towards the things that are going to be the highest impact versus things that are not going to have any impact at all. And in the SEO world, there's tons of stuff that people talk about that basically does nothing. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff that's really impactful, but also really hard to do. And those are the things you want to focus on the most, those high leverage opportunities. The only way to know that is to actually do SEO and have the expertise and uh, ultimately know where to spend your time and effort. Okay. So as far as expertise goes, it's not going anywhere. And there's this kind of interesting thing that's going on with AI where uh, people that are new to AI, they think it's going to literally solve every problem that's ever existed. 
But for the people that have been using AI every single day, um, and in fact, you know, I not to toot my own horn here, but I've been using, I was using Jasper, uh, which was actually GPT-3 before ChatGPT even came out. So I was creating content with Jasper and we were ranking that content. In fact, we still have content ranking today that was built with GPT-3. Um, and when when ChatGPT came out, you can actually find this video on my channel, by the way. I actually have a video on my channel. It'd be This is a... This is like a historical piece, so you should go and find it, but we'll show uh, Nathan Gotch, ChatGBT, okay? I'll show you the video that I put out when ChatGBT first came out, all right? So check this out. It's kind of cool. So go here and we'll find the video. This was in November, 2022, when ChatGBT first came out. See, I can't even, I don't even know how to use my search function here. Let's see, ChatGBT. All right. So we'll go down here and we'll find the one, uh, this is the one here, two years ago, okay? So how ChatGBT will kill SEO, okay? This is two years ago on December 6th, 2022. I published this just a couple weeks after ChatGBT was released. Now, if you wanna have a good time, go and read the comment section. Plenty of people in this comment section that said ChatGBT was not gonna be something. Okay. I told people that it was going to disrupt Google. I told them it was going to happen because I had, ex I had seen it. I had seen the power with my own eyes. Okay. But the reason I'm telling you this is because as someone who has been literally using ChatGPT, Replit, every AI solution out there for the last, uh, you know, I guess now three years I've been doing this. I can tell you that it is not going to solve all your problems. It is not. And the deeper you start using AI, the more you realize how, you know, how far away we are to it actually taking people's jobs and taking real expertise. So this is that kind of interesting curve. And you can see this actually in this little, you know, this um, little graphic here. This is what happens, right? People like think they know a ton about something and then you go deeper into it and you realize, whoa, we don't actually know that much. And this thing isn't actually is, is, you know, insanely powerful as I thought it's going to destroy all these jobs. So, um, so it's just important to kind of emphasize this because if you want to enter the SEO industry, you want to build a career in the SEO industry, you want to start a business in the SEO industry, there's massive amounts of demand for people that actually know what they're doing. And if you're willing to do the work and you're willing to actually learn all of, you know, how to actually rank with, on these AI platforms or rank on Google with its new AI products, you can be extremely, extremely valuable in this market. And the more valuable you are in this market, the more money that you could potentially make. So I just wanted to show you this. The ideas are easy. The execution is hard. And as long as the execution is hard, we're still going to need people that can come in here and, and say, this is where you hit the nail, right? This, this is the exact spot where you hit this nail, right? And that's always going to be important. So hope that helps. And uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.